All right. Um, wanted to go right into uh, third quarter 2018 town financials and general town updates. Chris, how are you? Welcome. Thank you. I've arranged for a killer soundtrack for tonight. <laughs> what is that? Zumba. Zumba. Oh, Zumba. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't know what's in it. Uh, so, third quarter, You what you have is uh, September 30th numbers. Uh, I was last here in July to do Q Q2. Uh, there hasn't been a lot in a budget since to happen since then, but I'll go through a uh, couple things that I may not have mentioned then. Um, answer any questions you have. Uh, Three quarters of the year gone by. We've sent about two thirds of the budget um, with a few major costs uh, yet to be reflected. Um, some of the outliers uh, or things still to come. Um, in uh, elections, we obviously have one more election to go, um, but we're going to finish okay there. Um, on line, sorry, I skipped uh, line 29 is the town clerk. Uh, equipment maintenance and support, that's where we stuck funds for uh, security upgrades to the town clerk's office. Those are going to happen a few days, they're going to start a few days after the election, so those costs aren't shown yet. Um, those will come in right about on the number that we had anticipated. Um, Legal, we continue to uh, face legal costs for some tax abatement cases, although we, we, we have one open case yet. We closed one uh, since the end of the second quarter, but it was costly. Um, and we're still chipping away on some things related to USA Spring. So while we thought this year would be quieter for legal expenses, it has not been. Line 82 is one of our, our bigger ones. That's health insurance for employees. Um, that's going to be close. We've had uh, this year, we've had a couple employees that had been eligible in the past but had not been participating uh, sign on for our health insurance. And we've had fewer singles and more couples and families than we anticipated. So um, we, we you know, when we have vacancies or we come in there we have new hiring we don't always know what you know if that's going to be a single person or a family plan and that is a big cost difference to the town it's probably 10 or 14 14 thousand dollars a year difference so anytime we we have changes like that or pick up new participants um, it bends that number quite a bit um, and it looks like next year we we may have another one and um, and we've got a first look at rates for next year, which look like they're going up about 10% for the plans that we're on now. So that's probably gonna be one to watch as we get into next year's budget. Uh, we're waiting for other options for other plans that we can consider, but the, the plan that we have today is gonna go up by 10 and a half percent. Also looking ahead in that same section, the police and fire retirement lines, we've seen the uh, contribution rates for those, which next year are actually gonna go down just a little bit. We always worry that that's gonna go up. We can't control it, it's set by the retirement system, but for the upcoming two years, those aren't gonna spike. So that's good news coming ahead you know, for, for next year. Um, let's see here. Uh, the 130s, line 130-ish, uh, that's all our electric stuff. Um, our solar panels aren't working right now because it's dark, but generally uh, they are working. Uh, they've been plugged in, activated here and at the fire station. Um, it's kind of a side note, it won't have a big financial impact right away. Uh, that, the, benefits, the financial benefits don't really kick in until uh, seven for that. So it's cost will be pretty stable, but um, we are Get started that clock and we are losing our own power. Yep. <clears throat> are we getting that power at a reduced rate now? It's not a reduced rate. So well, it depends on where the default rate at public service is at the at any given time. 
what we've done is contracted to buy the power that's produced. That essentially offsets our grid purchase. Except, uh, we're basically gonna, what will be essentially flat in the rate we're paying six years of panels being there. Six, uh, I would expect that it would make sense to buy the panels that, um, even money six through the end of life of the panels, which is 20. So, this was always set up to be a long term play, it was not going to save money on day one. It was gonna doing what we expected it to do, but we don't see the need. Um, yeah, they're kind of in the same boat. Um, insurance is always, once it's in, it's in. It's, it's pretty well taken care of. Um, Police department has been fully staffed with one very brief exception uh, here, which is which is great. We haven't had tracking right on budget. Um, the lines you'll see this in highway and fire and here in police. We may have a little shuffling to do between departments, or we may be using this much in. So I haven't looked at that recently, but um, fuel prices are going up. Um, we're going to see that uh, in next year's as well. Our, our and, and uh, eating oil rates are going to go up next year. You're seeing it at all. Um, crude oil is, is relatively high right now. Line 180 is the police cruiser. I don't think we had that delivered uh, the last time I was here. That's That cost is fully covered now. We've, that cruiser is uh, on the road and the trade-in is complete. Uh, fire, a lot of the f uh, fire department's um, annual equipment testing, we test all the hoses and the vehicles go through inspections and all that stuff. That's uh, always late in the year, so a lot of these, those kind of equipment chargers always fall late. We don't have any, any, any big surprises, but on the, on the payroll side of fire, we're, we're about to lose one of our career firefighters uh, who's going to another department, so I expect we'll have a, a vacancy for some time there. Um, that'll skew the uh, part-time, full-time next there. We'll try and fill in where we can. Probably end up saving some. Um, 211, we had a small project to replace a dry hydrant on Macrillis Road. That's fully paid for and finished. Um, keep moving on to highway. Line 266 is a big one. Uh, that's where we put the funds for a new one and a half ton truck that's going to be uh, cost That's going to come in right around the budget to uh, Shim, Shim and Seal Coat. This is the Primarily maintenance of asphalt roads. Read what you think of roads. Um, that work is all done. A couple of small exceptions, some finish work on our overlay program for the year. We did a piece of Deerfield Road, Little River Road, uh, second cone on Lakeview that we had done last year, and we redid Kelsey Road this year. Um, that work is almost all done, but we haven't been billed for it yet. So um, that's the biggest unspent uh, chunk for the year. That's going to come in a little bit under. Um, we have work going on right now on Cooper Hill Road. Um, Cooper Hill's the gravel portion of Cooper Hill is being paved. That comes from a separate warrant article for road reconstruction. 
uh, so that doesn't show up here. Uh, once we see what those two final numbers look like, we may try and uh, sneak some extra work in. Asphalt work, but um, that that line, that shim and seal coat line, is uh, the biggest one unspent. In uh, recycling or solid waste disposal in the 270s there, uh, I think we talked about testing last time I was here. We've blown that number out of the water. That was PFOA testing that we've been doing. That all came, did, did we talk about that three months ago? I've lost a little bit. Did, okay, little so bit. Had we, did we get the results? Had we had the results no, when the we results uh, were Okay, so I'll just give you a general. As we talked about, the, um, the state started requiring anybody with, with a closed land to test for this year. This is the first year we tested for them. Elevated levels at our landfill, our gap landfill. Finding that, we spread the land, tested a number of homeowner wells around the landfill. Town paid for all that testing as well. All of that has come back negative. So um, the problem has not migrated from what we expected given the hydrology or what our engineers have expected. We didn't get those results back. Teeny oddball. Probably speaking, all good news. We will, since uh, since we found it there, we're going to face uh, a more rigorous test. Uh, state, we're going to have to pick that up. But everything being contained is great news. Uh, we don't know what else the state is going to recommend. We're waiting for that. It's part of our regular permit process. Uh, but we're optimistic that it's not going to turn into a big cost. Yes. Um, oh, and, the, and I think we talked a little bit about the other, the recycling market being a mess. Um, that's going to show up on the revenue side, and I think we talked about that. Um, we, we don't pay to get many of the things that you think of as recycling, but we're just not making any money taking them in. We are actually, some things that we've previously sold are now tipping to the point where we're having to pay some. Never generate a lot of money. Now it's going to generate a little bit of cost. So long term, we got challenges there. But as long as we keep not paying 75 bucks a ton to throw the stuff in the landfill, so um, what are we? What are we showing the equipment maintenance? We, we had two two pieces of equipment with more significant problems than we expected. We have a we have a bobcat and a forklift up at the recycling center. Both needed one needed uh, they both needed pretty significant. Is that done earlier in the year? Yes, that was there. That we we those were this spring. Uh, both of them, I think. And they, Last time I was here, we, we touched on that. Uh, general assistance welfare has been quiet. Uh, our, uh, contributions to various social service agencies, those are pretty much on autopilot once their amounts are locked in. REC is on track uh, without any great excitement there. Same with uh, everything else is small money. Um, so overall, we're going to finish under budget because we have to. We don't have the option to spend more than that. So we are, we're going to be all right. Um, I think we'll probably uh, Finish the full year at something between 95, 97 percent. 
where it looks like it's going to be like that, which is it's pretty typical. It's about where we end up. Surplus year in the last. Couple other notes to share with you. Our audit from of last year with a new firm is uh, complete. Our auditors came and met with the select board at the board's last meeting. Um, that was a, a good process. Good to have a new set of eyes uh, on our operation after probably 15 years. It's a couple of suggestions on minor things. Generally, gave us a very favorable report, uh, positive opinion. That, that audit report's on the website if you want to see it. Um, we should have a tax rate for 2018. Uh, select board will finalize that Monday. Uh, tax rate's going, going to go up. I don't know by how much. Probably uh, some decisions to make around that. That's the early word. Yep. 230, that's the Dame School renovations. Oh, the, um, the handicap ramp. The handicap ramp, the paint, uh, the back door, all that's all done. Uh, I think we leaked over. We found a couple things as we, uh, as we got into the project. We had to do a little bit more than we could see from, from the outside. Uh, two. 331. 340, yes. It says 230. So. No, 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 that's 339. <laughs> yeah, no, some of that's some of that is is a is a uh, that's got to get pulled out for a, a different appropriation. It had its own warrant order. So we're we're still showing the costs here. That. Yep. Uh, I I think we I think we had another. I think some of that's going to come out. In the I Recycling building maintenance was mostly work on the oil burner there. Um, and we, had, and we, we also had to replace some trailer doors. They, they use trailers out behind there. You might not have seen them, but there are truck trailers back there that we stage a bunch of materials in. The doors on a couple of those had rotted out and weren't working, so we had to replace the doors on those. What was the other one? This building, um, that is HVAC system, and um, some door security stuff that we, uh, we approved last year, but didn't and intended to get it installed and paid for. Last year's budget, but it didn't happen. We intended to have it paid for last year, and didn't. And that's I, I, that's the bulk of that. That's been there most of the year, I think. I don't think that's. Been With the salt, yep. I know most of it is at ninety seven point ninety seven percent used up. Um, how does that work with from last year versus the upcoming? Uh, well, the the winter and the calendar year obviously don't line up, but uh, we've got not full in salt right now, but we've got a, a good pile. Uh, we may need to buy a little bit more depending on how December goes. But we carry, we should carry inventory essentially from year to year. Uh, some years, you know, it all depends on the timing of the deliveries and the need. This year, next year. Oh, okay. The, the 
first the first winter of 2018 I remember it was icy and we had bigger ice challenges and we had snow challenges this winter. A lot of sand and salt. Yeah, I would that's really what's driving. Thinking realistically the last quarter, what how are we're we gonna, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna end it one more truckload we're gonna miss on that. Yeah. Not enough to, to kill us. Start. If we had money problems the year end we could get December. Yeah, we've we've taken to renting a, uh, a big mechanized one uh, that allows us to to push through a lot of material at the pit. They're doing it right now. Actually, we've had it for in part because of the problems we were having with the one we own, uh, and and the it's getting harder to get material out of that pit. They're having to work harder as time goes by. The easy pickings are. So uh, what we're doing, we, we, we had a little bit of a panic last winter and had to that one and, and found that it was actually really efficient. So we're we'll, we'll spend a couple of weeks with a guy in the pit just cranking through and making the sand for the winter. So that's, that's been worth it, just on being able to crank it out and be done with it better in the long run. We had we had a couple of weeks last year. We were we were putting pretty hefty chunks on the road. <laughs> I, I know. I know you heard about it. I so. did, and I, and I should. That's not you know. You can't put rocks that big on the road. Uh, and we actually had we we were having a similar trouble with the rental one, and and took it out of service for a couple of days and made the company come and fix it because we were facing the same thing. Uh, just don't pay for it when it's yesterday fixing that. Shape. We're, uh, our departments are working on next year. You'll see us before too long here with the first draft. Um, we're expecting it to be a challenge this year. Um, so, this year, I think the department has to be turning that stuff into us uh, in next month, and then we go. All right, there thank you. Updates? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's something, but. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Too sorry. Am I adding anything down? I'm sorry. No. Stepped no. all on you there. Covered it all. <laughs> item on the agenda is the year end 17 if you walk us through that. So I just want to make sure I have what you guys have. Um, six different packets. So <laughs> we have three. I so we have the Monthly financial review and it shows July 1st, 17th, and June 30th, 18th. Okay, and so I, I have that. We have the same thing, but it's July 1st, 18th, and June 30th, 19th. And your Nottingham School proposed budget is a 2021, right? Um, you want to go by the report number on the top? Yeah, I, I, oh, yeah. Mine, were, mine were run at a different time than yours, and so I was trying to save paper. I didn't take everything that came by, um, and so shame on me. Just well, we have extras if you want our time. Uh, no, I'll go, with, I'll go with what I have. Okay, so the end of the year...
Okay, so the one that says monthly financial review. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we ended the year in good shape. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I always go and look at the last number. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny every time. They, every time, yes, every time they hand these out to us, we're going through them, and everybody is like at the back uh, page. Um, so we ended with um, two hundred and eighteen thousand nine hundred and ninety-three thousand. Sorry, nine hundred and ninety-three dollars and twenty-six cents. Um, but if you go through it, um, you'll see that this is um, everything. We didn't have any big spikes in anything. Um, we're going through regular education. Um, there's really not much to, um, to really not much to talk about. Um, we didn't buy a lot of books. Um, you know, the majority of what we do, the majority of what we spend on our salaries. Overall, 151,000. Um, special education um, down by 72,000. Um, Medicaid, 618,000. Um, going through co-curricular. And uh, anybody who has questions, please uh, just jump in yeah, and stop. Well, me. Yeah, let me stop you there then, because um, I'm listening to um, page two. Um, you said special education, you saved, line 54. Line 54. Yes, I'm sorry, I'm all the way down at the bottom of that. Um, From that category? Yes. So that, that's yes. I think it's over. No, that's yeah. over. It's it's over. over. I'm sorry. sorry. So it's over, but yes, it's over by 72. But the other one was. Our education was. So, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to, um, yeah, the only, I mean, if I was going to line item, the only, the other question I have is, what is the Yes, we have, yes, um, we've had, um, a few, um, people in the building who had to um, I don't know the details of it, but I can get back to you. Substitute teaching staff. Uh, yes. Again, I can find out about that. And what happens um, often is that um, if someone is out, they will go from line to line because they just need to um, make sure they're not overspending. So if you have uh, the lunchroom monitors are sometimes out, so they'll pull a sub from somewhere else. Um, and so you might end up with lunchroom monitors, more money left in that line, um, and substitute teachers who fill in so that we can make sure that the teachers are But I can definitely find out about that for next time. That's okay. That's okay. Um, so, let, so the year before we had um, we 
at a service that would come in and that would uh, that would provide special education. Um, and I'm sorry, which line are you looking at? So we had um, a service that would come in and they would provide um, services. What happened was we decided to do it, um, instead of having someone come in, we decided to send them to, um, we decided that it, they, would, they would be better served by going to um, a school where they could get all of the services they needed. So again, it was a transfer. So it was sending students out versus bringing and in fact, it's one staff in. Yes, it's, it's actually okay. one student. Um, so uh, back to um, to elementary athletic. Um, again, nothing really to talk about there. Guidance. I'm sorry. So guidance health insurance is under. Um, we have our contracted services um, for ESL, and I can ask about that. Um, yeah, I'll have to ask. Uh, can we go back to line 81 for a second? Yep. The math doesn't look right. The budget of 47,190, actual of 41,700. 17, mm -hmm. but the balance is 2,500. The same with line 91. It's thousand dollars, yeah. but it's nothing. Doesn't look right. Six. <coughs> you are right. More for me to ask uh, this is administrator about. I apologize. That's okay. Um, so I, one thing that we're doing is we are um, we are changing the software program. Uh, we're we're actually going to put out an RFP to change the software program that we use to generate these. Um, unfortunately, the program that we use, ADP, is sunsetting, and they have. Um, They've stopped supporting us. And so uh, yesterday was a school board meeting and uh, Scott came rushing in with the um, budget packets that he had printed for us, but it had taken them hours and hours um, because ADP no longer has um, people who can go in and, uh, and fix any glitches, and there are a lot of glitches. Um, and so they stopped supporting us months ago. So, um, so some of the simplest things that they should be able to do, they're not able to do. So I don't know how this happened, but I think. So um, changing software, was that, did, was that kind of planned? Well, we've known, for, for that? we've known for two and a half years that they were sunsetting. Oh. Um, and so right now at the joint board level, we're trying to figure out who to go with. And there's really only, um, there's really only one company that we really consider um, because we put out an RFP and the kids are coming back. But we need a responsive and responsible company. And the rest of them, uh, a, lot, a, a few of the companies um, have histories that, although they may come in less expensive, I, we don't know that they're going to be able to do for us that we need to. And so, it's obviously a very big deal. Mm -hmm. And so unfortunately, um, some companies have, I'm sorry, some school districts have chosen um, less expensive, um, the, the lower bids, and ended up. Yes, yes. 
Because the SEUs, mm -hmm. the, they're the ones who print all of this for us. Oh, okay. I'm just noticing, sorry to interrupt, but the email that we did receive, was it John that sent us? He Robert. sent, or Robert, was a completely different report number. Oh, I reviewed. So that, so that's another, that's another glitch. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's, it's actually, I'm sorry, I, I don't know if it's a glitch, but every time they generate, they could generate this same uh, report. Um, and I could say, oh, Scott, I see a typo on here. And it, Bob could go in and fix it and generate the exact same report. It has a different report number. Because those so numbers sequence or something. Yeah. 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 So, so the report numbers will never, ever match up. Well, I re had, did have a chance to briefly review that, that this morning, and those numbers looked a lot better than what we're looking at right now. And that is because, <laughs> okay, right, just and that's because <laughs> at our last meeting, okay. um, we went over line by line and um, went through and asked them to load certain things in. And so I'm not sure why, um, I'm not sure why he sent the, the, the one that's seven days old, but we have a newer one. Um, and so I'm assuming that he just thought that it would be better to send over the other one. Yeah, this yeah. one was from 1015. Yeah. Right. And because because we hadn't yet discussed it yesterday. But this still has the math issues in it. Even just line one, 2,112 versus 2,076 is not a difference of 84,000. Yeah. So they're both, they've both got that formula okay. issue. I wonder if we should table this because I, yeah. I don't yeah. think it's worth going through. Some of them are right, but there's enough that are wrong that it makes me just kind of yeah. wonder. Unless we want to go through and and, uh, and pick out, you know, what we can see. Yeah, I guess we just have to do the line item differences in our head for yeah, just all of them. <laughs> yeah, that's a My little much. Not that quick. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say do the math in your head, but I mean, um, you know, anything that you see that's glaring, obviously pinpoint it, and, and uh, you know, any overages or, or unders that that don't seem to make sense, then um, we can address them. And, Well, when when you cross foot the column totals, they should they should equal across if everything's been fixed. Right. And and that's your your clue that something's still off someplace. Yeah. Rather than spending our time going through each line. Mr. Yeah. 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 I can I can give you um, an update on what on our, some of our budget but our very early budget drivers if you would yeah, prefer absolutely. that well we can and we can look at the uh, i don't know if we're gonna have, are we gonna have the same issues this, with the 1819 version i'm gonna tell you that the same program generates all <laughs> <of it. laughs> okay. um so that's that's not that to too. say that we're gonna have the same issue but So, all right. This next one is part of the proposed budget, right? Yeah. So the one that says 2019, this is our, this is the budget year that we're currently in. And then the 2020 is not one that is not sent back. So, do you have 2020? No. Yeah, okay. So mm -hmm. the. So he hasn't yet sent that. I can talk about the budget drivers that we from, by each department, if you would like. So we met with um, we met with the various departments on October 10th, and um, each department came with uh, their budget drivers and um, some asks and you know and so just trying to give us a heads up as to what was going to be important to them um, for facilities. Um, 
Scott Brown, who uh, heads up that department, um, was dealing with sinkholes. Um, and so he has, uh, he's, he's dealt with two sinkholes, um, but he's fairly certain that at some point we will have to um, do something in the parking lot. Um, because he thinks it's possible that we might have additional uh, sinkholes coming. So he says there's no way to really know, but based on um, the two sinkholes that we've had, he thinks additional sinkholes could be coming. We don't know if that's going to be next year, the year after. Uh, he has pretty much promised that it's not going to be a huge sinkhole like two <laughs> I, I, was, I know, I was just like, could we stop and talk about this? <laughs> he was like, don't worry. It's not like going to be something you'd see on like a movie. I'm like, so your parking space. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, we, he is also um, going to be replacing doors and latches um, to update um, our security. He says that our doors are as um, old as the building. So he said it's important for us to, um, for, from a security standpoint, to update those. Um, just did lead testing, and uh, all of the levels came back um, acceptable. Um, he is thinking about, uh, he's trying to figure out if we need to pave, um, which would be a big ask. Um, as far as food service, um, Chuck, tells us that um, there are going to be, uh, the prices for milk and grain are going up, and so his budget his budget will probably go up a bit. Um, am I speaking too quickly? Um, he is still um, using um, the food guidelines from the Obama um, era, and uh, which means that he's got more uh, whole grains and low-fat milk um, and the prices are not changing on those so far. Um, he expects to, uh, he has gotten rid of straws, which he says it's going to reduce his budget um, or uh, reduce the uh, expenditures for that. Um, he still needs chemical and paper supplies. He has uh, minimal equipment repairs and um, the software program that he uses for meal t for uh, lunch cards, uh, it's called Mealtime. He doesn't think that's going to increase. Library, um, Audra, Audra Lewis uh, just received um, a lot of new equipment and uh, new uh, AC and uh, carpeting and furniture. So she is um, content with the level funded budget. <laughs> um, so she, she says that she'll probably need some uh, supplies for um, some of the machines that we bought, and she also needs a membership to the American Association of School Libraries. <clears throat> for technology, um, Kevin talked about the fact that the Chromebooks are doing much better than um, he had ever expected, and so um, he's had to replace very few of them. Um, and they are, um, they should have, the Chromebooks that he bought, I think it's five years ago, should be on their way out, but he's still using all of them. And uh, he's found a, a new place that's pretty close that um, he can get them repaired and so he makes the assessment as to whether you should spend the hundred or hundred dollars to get it repaired or get a new one. Um, and he says that they're just chugging along. And so, right. yeah. Um, so he, ha he has asked for, um, or he's probably going to ask for uh, approximately $5,000 for replacement Chromebooks. Um, he has uh, something called One Call Now, which is the Snow Day telephone software um, that he will need to update. Um, Web to School is going to be about $1,500 a year. Um, he has a laser print agreement. Um, he needs a new firewall, and then he is going to um, ask for approximately $2,500 for parts and repairs um, for Chromebooks. He 
he is slowly but surely um, replacing uh, laptops and desktops, um, but he's doing that less and less. He's moving teachers over to Chromebooks um, because they say that they like the Chromebooks and he's happy because Chromebooks cost less than laptops and desktops. So that's uh, good for us. Um, he needs something called an AeroHive wireless antenna. Um, and it's about $160 per device. Um, and he also needs additional hours um, for getting Chromebooks ready, um, for getting them ready to give to kids and then also to uh, bring them back. So he's asking for $1,500. Um, or will likely ask for $1,500. Um, as far as curriculum, Jude um, is increasing what we're doing with IXL. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. I know you <laughs> I'm I sure. I use it more than my son does. <laughs> yeah. I love IXL. <laughs> Um, so I noticed that my children are using IXL not just for math, but also for language arts. Um, and so we're purchasing additional modules. Um, we're going to be using AmesWeb in place of Dibbles. Um, and apparently that's going to maybe cost a bit more. Um, we're going to be looking at um, new math programs. Um, and there may be a budget impact there because the trend in textbooks now, I can't even believe I'm saying this, is not to actually sell textbooks, but to put things online. So it costs nothing. I don't know how the textbook manufacturers even know <laughs> this to happen, but um, so we, we might not be buying textbooks. We might just be printing some pieces out um, for um, the students. Um, but this is what they're going to be doing in the next year, and he's hoping to figure out what they're doing by March. One program that they're very interested in might not have uh, Houghton Mifflin and McGraw-Hill. Um, both have projects in the works that they would like to look at, but if they're not ready by March, then they might have um, and then that money would just sit there and we do. Um, he's looking at uh, summer curriculum, and contracted services, and salary for all subject areas, um, as well as uh, the mentoring program for uh, teachers as well as paraprofessionals. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I just noticed real quick. Um, it looked like this. Completely wrong. Um, but I thought the uh, continuing ed or. Um, Which of the Basically, five? that there was monies unspent from some continuing ed opportunity for. Oh. Or yes. And so we, we always obviously encourage them to spend every dollar on tuition, on courses, yeah. on on everything. Um, and sometimes it doesn't happen. And it also, it, it makes a difference as to when the course happens and when they get the paperwork in. Um, but, I mean, that's that's an investment that we are always really happy to make. Um, including the principal, him taking classes. Um, well, actually, the number's the other one. Course tuition reimbursement. They took advantage of those classes. Line, uh, I'm sorry, line 117. That was last year. Oh, okay, yeah, for last year. Yep, last year. Yeah, last year. Is that the right category? Is that, is that the teachers? 
section of education? Of course, tuition side? reimbursement, yes. That, that's yeah. exactly what that should be. <laughs> Are the numbers correct? <laughs> I, I thought it was the other way around, but um, well, I know one year we had it was underspent. So and then um, what else is going on? I know there was some talk about um, you were talking about the door security and so on. Um, is part of that? like electronic versions of door security? Because I know there was some talk about, like the gym obviously has access directly to the outside. Right. Nobody knows when those doors are left open or propped open or whatever. So it is my understanding that that is not about the electronic, it's about the physical door. Um, so he's, taught, he's saying that um, you have to like really push the door to close it, which means that if kids go out, they might not be properly Strong closing enough or the heavy door. Enough to exactly. So he didn't say anything about he didn't say anything about the electronic. I know. I mean, that was conversation. I think we had last year um, with regards to creating the double door yep. entrance, um, which is great for the front of the school. But then at the back of the school, there was no yep. you know, somebody could prop open the door and nobody would know it. Yep. And um, something that we'll we'll be talking about as we develop our budget is um, how to better secure the school. Because I mean, you can open the doors in the back and nobody would know, and you can leave it open and nobody would know. Um, and so it's, it's imperative that we fix that. We just haven't had uh, those conversations. Who, um, who was involved with the, um, I saw the new volleyball court? Ellen LaPeca. <laughs> she did such an amazing, such an amazing job. Um, and I hear that um, she brought her family out to get all, <laughs> to get it all <laughs> graded. It all and, yep. Yeah. It's the Nottingham way. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. I mean, yep. that uh, the playground. And you helped, was, you helped out with that too, right? Yes, you did. Easy. I know. I remember the playground was all part of that as well. You know. Yep. Um, well, thank you for those updates. Um, so hopefully, um, you know, if we can get them electronically, yep. Um, then we can have a chance to review it prior to the meeting. Okay. Um, I think that would be really beneficial for, for everybody and, and uh, save some time. Absolutely. We can also then, you know, if we get them electronically, then I would um, you know, encourage um, you all to forward questions to me or forward questions to Dawn, and then we can filter them up to the school, um, or even, you know, questions with regards to the, uh, to the town, do the same thing, and then I can um, push those up, and then uh, that way they can come prepared with answers to the meeting rather than out of the week, yet another period you know, to. Uh, That's a good idea. Does your software allow an export to Excel? That would be most beneficial for us to be able to trap these things. So I asked that question, and a lot of people asked that question about four or five years ago. Four or five years ago, we were told that it, does, it you could not do it in Excel. Um, I don't know if that's still well, the case. I understand but I can that, ask that it's it's not appropriate for a, a budget that large to rely on Excel for for its operation. No, no, no. But but the but question was asked if it could exports. be exported into yeah. Excel. Um, and again, this was four or five years ago. Four or five years ago, they said no. Um, that was Marjorie Whitmore. It's possible that I mean I'm sure that it's been updated. It's like you know a different version now. So I can certainly. When you, when you go looking for software products, tell them that the budget committee has the strong preference for something that can support <laughs> Excel <laughs> exports. I will certainly do that. I am on the committee that <laughs> is looking, so. Yeah, it would be really, really easy to, to uh, just highlight anything that is a, a math error when we 
So, yeah, it 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 sounds like it's really cumbersome. Um, every time we, I mean, because there are times when we're sitting there and we're like, no, that you didn't take that number, or you didn't take that money out, or you didn't add the money in, and they're sort of just looking at us like, okay, well, we'll have to go back to the office to do that. Um, so it doesn't seem like you can just do it on the. Because I, I've often asked, why can't you just bring a laptop and then, you know, do it right then and recalculate it so that we could know what our bottom line is, and they just look at me like, <laughs> security. <laughs> and I, I think it does have to yeah. be a secure line, and yeah. So, but I will, I will ask about the export tax out. I'm been asking for that. I know. It's time to move the meeting into their office so they can sit there. And <laughs> I think that's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> and make them stay there until it's right. Yeah. Last night they were calculating stuff on calculators so that they could oh. tell us the bottom line. Can they also print double sided? Just to save some trees? Absolutely. If that's, I know that could be a device constraint too, but if it's possible, that would be awesome. So if, if they're able to send them electronic, they, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure why I'm saying if, they are able to send it electronic. They sent this electronic. Yeah, yeah PDF. PDF. Right, so, right. But it was a PDF. Yeah. I see. So yeah. you would rather not have a PDF. You would obviously rather Excel. Excel so we can do the formulas and okay. we can check the math and all that kind of stuff. But um, electronically is better than nothing, especially if we can get it ahead of time of the meetings. So if they are sent electronically, either in a, a format that you can manipulate or uh, a PDF, do you still want uh, printouts? Because I was actually surprised that they printed the budget. Meeting, is for the meeting, we do. The budget, at least, when we go through the budget. Is there a possibly the estimated date of when from that old system versus the new that we won't have to be dealing with all these oh it's it's, uh, it's no time soon um, the RFP just went out maybe three weeks ago um, and they only the company it's called Tyler and so they only they they will only take clients on two times a year December and June, or December and July. So, wow. it, it's Wish good I to be there. I know, that's going to be nice. Oh. Um, so because they have to take everything over. So they know, right? you, and you have, to, um, you have to say yes to them six months ahead of time. So, wow. so you're at their mercy of. Yes, we are. So if we decide to go with them, we would tell them in December, yes, for July. Because we, we can't do it during the budget season. That would just be, that would be crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Um, thank you. Sorry. Next order of business is the subcommittee reports. And we have, what do we have? We have CIP. There's I have a question on that, and Don, I don't know if you would know, um, actually, John, online has all the old names. Is Charlene still the select board person? They had your name as the planning board. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I was like looking, I haven't received anything from anyone. Because that committee so. like, is, the, it's pretty random in the grand scheme of things. You guys on your own, nobody really sticks, takes minutes, I don't. Yeah, the agenda <laughs> on the website comes up, every single agenda that has a hyperlink is completely blank. It only no. says, so I tried to look for it. So you have no updates? <laughs> I, yes, I tried. <laughs> it's a top secret. Dark I'm not even listed yeah. on the website as being on the board yet, so, <laughs> or committee. <laughs> And then, uh, what's the other, tra transportation? 
So I, we had met before the end of the last school year to go over the contracts uh, and, sign, and recommended going with Dale again. Um, but then we never met about the bus routes and I don't know if we were supposed to. So I think it, the sense I got was the timing of when Dale sends the bus routes is so late, so close to the beginning of the school year that I guess the school board probably saw them, but um, the transportation committee didn't. Supposed to. So, <laughs> and I've heard nothing, nothing since then. Yep. Okay. I don't think there would be anything until next spring. Do we renew the contract every year? No, or how it's does like a five year or something. Uh -huh. yeah. And there was in the new contract, now we do get a discount when we're down a bus. So, budget wise, being down a bus is beneficial in that sense not for the families that really, <laughs> or yeah. have an hour bus ride but yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if that's what's impacting the drop off and pick up situations at school. Oh it definitely is. Definitely is. A, Absolutely. Yeah. Many people do not and I don't blame drop off fiasco their... last week when the weather was bad. Yeah. Many well, people that, don't want I their think children. all the um, all of the uh, teams are being delayed because they're waiting for the bus to uh. do its round and then come back and pick them up. for the most part the mean the needs well we're down a, a whole bus which we were for most of last year as well we're down the bus again the same yeah, down the same, same. Bus. Um, approval of minutes is the next item on the agenda. And I think we have those. We don't. Yes, we do. Yeah. So we can go through these. Um, as I mentioned earlier, before the before we started the meeting, um, we're those um, been putting these online for us at the, on the uh, Google Docs. Um, we just need to figure out how we can all show our edits and corrections. Um, on one document uh, so that we can then avoid having to print them at the meeting and then when we come to the meetings, all our edits have been done and we can just approve the minutes as an edit. Um, and I think I've figured that out, um, but the February minutes from last budget season, I've used different formats, so I'd like to take the opportunity to take all of the changes, merge them into one document, So, uh, and, and Lee had a question or a comment was, how do we, how do we, like when I've gone in there, I didn't make any edits because I didn't see any edits. So do you know that I've seen the document and that I've edited it or, or is there a way for me to sign off on that and say approved? If you guys want, I mean, I can, if you want to just type your name up at the top, even though it's going to adjust the spacing, it doesn't matter to me if you can put those out when they're there's got to be a way, though, that shows that I logged into the document. And that I did see on your, uh, from my computer, it did show me that you were in. Okay. And I did see your hmm, changes. I saw your, yeah, I saw your changes, Jim. Did it label them as mine? I'm wondering. It how labeled them. It, it labeled so it OK, it does tag yours. a user. OK, yeah. I wasn't sure how that worked. Yeah. So maybe you can just putting your initials next to your name in the present line. Right. You know, it won't, if your initials are there, then I'll know that you've reviewed it. Um, I did. A simple solution, perhaps. Yes. Um, at the at the bottom of the document, yes. so it doesn't mess with any line spacing, just put each member's name who was present at that meeting, and then a space for uh, reviewed. Yeah, maybe a approved. date stamp, sure. like. Okay. I could even do that. Yeah. 
I was speaking to Jennifer briefly before the meeting started. I did put in, I, I may have done it wrong, I highlighted um, Carrie Lee's name. I'm, I'm looking at the October 4th one and put in saying she was absent, but Tim was here, because even though your name was in <laughs> later, um, but that's not showing up on here. So should we edit it a different way or? Um, you see everything, though. I do, yeah. Okay. You, you, it doesn't matter to me as long as people know that something needs to be moved. If you, can move it. you know that I, if you see that I make an error, you can go ahead and, and put, you know, take out care of on the top and put it below, or do what you did is fine with it. Strike through. We tried it, didn't we? I thought we tried it. The town currently uses Microsoft Office. We thought about swapping over to Google and the transition. So, yeah, now I think we're looking at Office 365. Right, which is all what it is. It is. So I'm still, I'm definitely learning, and if anybody else knows more about this, then please feel free to I'm going to talk to my son. Send it to your teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to learn. So, and then the only other option is to do it like the selectmen do it, where I will email you the Word doc, you go in and do your edits. You make them yourself, email them. Back to me, or everyone is the group, and I'm learning all of those. Seems cumbersome. Yeah, it seems a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Need be. Yeah. Well, at the top of the document, like on the 10 4, when I open it in Drive, there's an option to suggest changes. I turned that on when I made my edits, so I don't know if that's how it labeled it. So maybe if we're all do using and the I, same functionality, it might make it easier for I you to just I be do. looking at one. I think it okay. reads suggested up in the top right versus edited. Yeah, I put in comments. Yeah. suggested does this where I see all of the changes in one document where if okay. it's the edits, then it changes it every version. So. I added a whole new one. I went. I did comment. Is what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I say, of course. It's totally, yeah. If anyone has somebody who knows Google Box, please send them my way. Um. So, the ones that you sent us were these. Do I have the right date? And. These 10 four minutes are the ones that I found on Google Drive okay. with all the so I'm still, I mean, And I read the, the... I'm still kind of getting used to this process. I read the July 26th ones, but I didn't see anything mm -hmm. that needed to be... Yeah, I did the same thing um, on the 26th ones. I, I read these, too. So, and then I, I was going to put in the counts from... That's why there's a bunch of blanks. Oh, for the for school. The yes. Yep. I meant to put those in there. And I had had a note previously, but I just took it out tonight. The 46 kindergarten, for some reason, I thought that Roz had mentioned a 50 something, so I had had that note in, but I took it out because I went back to my actual handwritten notes, and 46 was the number. So I don't know why I thought it was 50 something. So I just removed that comment. John, do you need the numbers? I have the. The most recent update. Okay. So I'll just go over here. Oh, and I should actually also. Um, I was going to say we talked last night about we changed. Um, we're not going to put all of the students into the program of them into the COVID line, which will adjust the budget. Um, there's no way for us to know who's going where. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, but the, we want to be work. conservative, but it does, it has a budget implication, so we decided to just go with 
20 maybe. Was in fact absent. So. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go from memory. Dawn, could you also change the spelling of my name? It's R O S L Y N. That's okay. the minutes of October 4, 2018, as I think. All in favor? Just let it out. <laughs> Listen, everybody except I'm standing. Yeah, I wasn't here. Item on the list is round table. Do we have any topics? Oh, should we go back to the July 26th minutes to officially be approved? Because what you didn't print them out, but I don't think we ever. Yeah, those the final. I thought, I thought they were approved. Yeah, it here. It says. Uh, oh, well, okay. I, I think Tim Davery will approve. It was the February minutes, yeah. Oh. Because here it says uh, July 26th minutes uh, were amended. It confused me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you give us a new calendar. Is there any changes to this? Uh, yes. This is like those changes uh, that you are. Snow date? Can... How did we get one of those? Uh, there's a December one, I think it is, that's to be determined. The other to be Determined dates are there. This is from last Thursday. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think I, it was your... attached to the. Uh... Excuse me. Yeah, you got December 13th and then the next one. Thanks. You wanted to wait to choose before or after. Oh, right, because this one was landing on like the 27th or something. Yes. Days after is what originally. It's exactly. Right, it's going to be the 20th, which is the Thursday before Christmas, or the 27th. <laughs> before is but better because the, the kids are still in school. school yeah. Well, uh, and, the, and we missed the school board meeting, right? Well, it's the night before. So it's the night before, so we wouldn't have any numbers. So the 27th makes more sense, but it's right smack dab in between and everything. Could we move the January? Yeah, you might have trouble getting the phone. Could we do the second review, or that's too late to do it in January? So that's the trouble that, the struggle that I, I had with this calendar was the fact that there really aren't any other days to choose but the 20th or the 27th, because is a given, January 10th. That has to be your guarantee. So that really means just those three Thursdays. So what's the possibility of getting the school board to meet a week ahead? So let's see. So moving it from the 19th to the 12th, we can certainly try. Some problems if you're if you're able to have the, the budget ready um, at that meeting. So, that so I I can say that the one thing that would keep us from doing that would be the fact that um, we had you know we're in a joint district and so. 
I don't know if it's Stratford or Northgate, but one of them has the other. So if the, the so the and we try not to ask them to do sure. two. But we can ask. No, the joint board meeting, it's always on a Monday. However, we have now changed it. Yes, but I think it's still going to be on a Monday. So I can ask about that. And as it's just scheduling, I can, I can ask Scott if it's okay, but I'm pretty sure that I can just send an email. Possibility might be to, to slip the budget committee meeting. So would one day versus two days? <laughs> that's, that's not true. I that think that make actually. a difference. I was going to say I think that would be tough because people are following the other town now following. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying all the options. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll have a 10 o'clock Friday morning meeting. So if you can let us know about that, then we can make a decision. And then worst case scenario would have to be the 27th? Uh, you guys can choose any way you want. I mean, you don't have to go out to the, I mean, you could do this sounds like last night's conversation we had a meeting on uh, thanksgiving eve and we're all like oh should we move it yes yeah. we should move it <laughs> <laughs> yes, we should So maybe it's even if the school board got, because you have a meeting on the fifth. After the fifth. What's the latest date that we can do the public hearing on the school budget? I was trying to figure that out. That's the 15th. The 15th is the latest. Mm -hmm. Tuesday to a Tuesday. Yep, February 2nd to the 9th. So this is, this schedule can be posted as is, as we get closer to December.
<laughs> Sorry, that's the Buddhist part. That's the Buddhist part. That's, yeah. So, um, I mean, we'll figure it out. So, you'll still meet. You look like, um, Has anyone thought of uh, the voice recognition? Software instead of typing. Does it? Is it called Dragon? I think. Yeah, it yeah. is called Dragon. <laughs> Problem with Dragon, naturally speaking, is you really have to train it. Yes, I know it takes it some time. I can't just walk up and start dictating to it, and then have Don come in and dictate it. To it. Each has it. Yeah. Thirty yeah. pages. Okay. <laughs> so much for technology making it easier. <laughs> Recognize and summarize. You get one of those. I haven't used it. I mean, you have my phone. I've never used it. How it works, but if it translates anything like it does French to English, it'd yeah, be hilarious. It's not good. <laughs> All right. Um, any other items that? Yes, sir. I got a little item. Um, on occasions, I, when when somebody needs to be absent, that's what, what has to happen. But but um, for particularly the, the representatives from other committees, um, when you know that you're going to be absent, is there an obstacle to sending a, an alternate from your respective committees? We have we have you know, we assigned from the very beginning to people. And question for you. Well, I had asked. Which only minus situation. Bring that up in the next one. But go, going forward is just a, a matter of procedure yeah. um, mm -hmm. when there is adequate time to. Thank you, everybody.